everyone, welcome to the vlog. Um, this week I'm going to be doing makeup tutorial um, and I've just pointed at my face meaning I'm doing foundation. Um, and the first thing is a Maybelline New York uh, Fit uh, anti-shine stick um, but I'm using it as sort of a concealer type thing on the red areas. I've just had a, a shower when I filmed this. Um, and this tutorial is basically what I do as a daily routine um, with my makeup. Um, I don't tend to put a lot on because um, it's just for the day. If I'm going out, um, I'll put a bit more on and I'll do another video for that later on um, in the year, maybe in a couple of weeks time. Because um, I want to do more makeup videos, I do like makeup. Um, so I'm just applying this under my eyes, on my nose got itchy nose, um, on my chin um, and I'm dabbing it in with a beauty blender which is a Real Techniques one um, and now I moved on to applying foundation which is Max Factor Miracle Touch in Creamy Ivory um, again using the beauty blender and I love this one because it goes really creamy if you look at the um, at the actual the, the container it comes as like a sort of solid foundation but then you mix it up and it becomes really creamy um, and it's good it's nice to apply it's a light foundation but it gives relatively good coverage and at the moment I'm in and out of um, foundation colors because my forehead gets tanned um, quite easily um, and we've had a bit of sun up in Glasgow so I've caught a bit of sun on my forehead um, but the rest of my face is quite pale <laughs> um, so I'm having to try and sort of counteract that and make it all one sort of steady colour um, so I'm using this one I've got an, a Kat Von D one that I used when I got a tan um, that I bought in the summer and it's really nice and I want to get back to using that but it's quite expensive I think it was $40 when I bought it so I need to save up a bit of money so I can get a paler colour um, and hopefully uh, get that back because the, the quality of the product is amazing um, and it looks great on um, and really good for the skin. So I'm now going to prep my eyes with a primer um, and I use Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion I love this product, um, absolutely love it. I haven't primed my skin today because it's, I'm actually, it's the afternoon. <laughs> so I've not primed it. Normally I would, but I've just, because I've been in the shower, I've just put a moisturizer on um, after I've washed my face and toned it um, just to, to add a base to it. But um, yeah, I haven't used a primer. And I would normally use one from Rimmel. I forgot what it's called. Um, but I would normally use that. So I've just spread a bit on my eyelids and rubbed it in um, and that makes the shadow just stay on your lid nice all day. Um, hardly budges, it's great. I'm just going to apply some concealer because I've got a few spots that have appeared on my chin um, and I'm using a MAC concealer that I've had for years and um, it's studio finish concealer with SPF 35 um, and it's in shade NW20 um, and I'm using a Bare Minerals brush Bare Minerals sorry Bare Minerals brush um, and it's their concealer brush um, and I'm just gonna dab the edges in um, a bit with the Beauty Blender so the next product I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows um, and I got this for my birthday from my brother's fiance. she is a makeup artist and this basically is just a brush um, and you, it's, it's mainly for if you're doing like just a quick, um, a quick brow. Uh, I don't like painting brows and I'm not very good at it um, but this is really easy to use um, and it just gives a bit of shape um, and definition to your eyebrows uh, it's, yeah it's 
really good um, and it's like like a it's basically like mascara for your eyebrows um, it's got a bit of a tint to it so I got a bit of the paste stuck on my skin <laughs> so I'm just going over it with the found the uh, concealer again with that brush and um, just to get rid of the uh, color and outline just do it on the other one to make it even I'm now going to move on to my eyes and I am going to use the Nordstrom Say Chic palette. I got it while I was in America and from Orlando on discount um, in the outlet store. And the colour I'm using is, I think it's called Demitas, but I'm not sure. Um, or it might be called Drawing a Blank. It's called Drawing a Blank. <laughs> I'm trying to read it off the back of the uh, palette. There's quite a few um, colours in here. Um, and it's really good. It's a lot of matte colours and nude tones and it, there's one purple in there and a couple of lighter black and very dark browns. Um, and it's just great for a natural day look. I don't like being too dramatic in the day. Um, so it's just great for having a natural look. So the brush I'm using is a Spectrum A6 brush. Um, and I'm using this brush for all of the colours um, because you know not everybody has a load of brushes and this one I like just because it's easy to use I and mean, it's quite a big brush so it's great for pasting um, like a base colour on um, and also for the crease. Um, so for the crease I'm using Chockful um, and I'm just, it's a light brownish colour and I'm just applying it to the outer lid and brushing it in on my crease. So the next colour I'm using is Ooh La Café um, and it's another darker brown but not too dark, it's just like a tone or a couple of tones darker. Um, and I'm just mainly applying that to the outer eye um, and dabbing a tiny bit in. I don't want it to be too dramatic so I've gone for quite a softer brown um, than I sometimes use. Now for the eyeliner and I'm using Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. Um, this is like a it's liquid liner, um, but it's more like a pen. And on my left eye in particular, I like to pull out the line so it draws straight. Um, I saw this on a, a YouTube blog a while back, um, that this is a good technique to use. And especially on my left eye, I can't necessarily draw a straight line, whereas on my right, I can do it freehand. Um, so I pull out the end of my eye just so it can be a neat straight line. Now for mascara, and I use as a base mascara Maybelline New York Colossal Volume Express. Um, I tend to use two mascaras um, because I don't normally find one that is good for everything, so length and volume. Um, I've not found one yet that does both um, to the way that I would like it to be, um, so I use two. And the second one I use is Maybelline New York Falsies. Um, now, I held up a newer version of it because I prefer my older one um, that I still use. It's it's a bit of it's a bit clumpier. Um, it's not as wet as the newer one that I bought because I thought the other one was running out but it turns out it's still got some life in it um, but I love the brush and I love the way that it fans out the eyelashes um, so eventually I'm going to have to put the one that I'm using down um, but it, yeah it's a, it's a great brush for eyelashes. Now I'm going to do my contour um, and I tilt my face and follow the line that I'm drawing with my finger 
um, and I'm using the Kat Von D Shade Light palette um, which is a powder palette, compressed powder um, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush um, and I'm going to use the Color is it? It's called Subconscious, um, and I'm going to use that one, the middle one. Um, I've used a lot, um, so I'm starting to use the outer ones a bit more. And I just draw a line um, of where I'd like my cheek to go in, um, and just make it a bit even. Um, and then I blend it out, and I'm going to blend it out with not that brush. Um, with another spectrum brush which is A1 and um, it's a bit bigger and I pinch the bristles and um, just blend it in. I then go back to the other brush and just do a bit more blending and add a bit more of the colour in um, and just do round circles just to rub it in a bit more and get a bit more colour. I'm then going to use the Spectrum A5 brush and I'm going to tap it into Sombre which is a darker colour and I only dab it once, not anymore, once is enough and um, just add a bit of the darker colour, <laughs> it's quite dark um, and to do both sides and add it more towards the hairline so that it sort of adds a bit more sort of ombre and then to blend it in I use the other brush um, back to the original one with, which still has some of the other product left um, and I'm going to apply the other, the subconscious back again to my hairline and down the side of my face do it in sort of a three shape so if you start on your forehead you go round into your cheeks and then down under your chin which I'll do in a minute um, and I just tend to apply a bit like over the top of my forehead as well and just down the side just so it all blends in I would normally use the Spectrum brush a bit more if I was going out, I'd apply more of the Sombre product and do my cre the uh, contour a bit darker, a um, bit more dramatic look um, for a night out, so that's what I do. And then I just drag the product that I'm used for contour down my neck as well, just to make it a bit darker. I'm now going to use the Lyric colour with another Real Techniques brush. Um, it's a different shape, it's more of a round shape um, and I'm just going to do that down my nose um, and on my forehead, the greasy spots and on the chin, um, down the side just to make the contour a bit um, sharper. Um, it's a lighter colour um, so it just adds a bit of definition to the uh, cheekbone area, um, sorry the uh, jaw area and then under the eyes um, where you normally get dark spots. Now I'm going to add a bit of blusher which is Bijou, or Bourgeois sorry, and it's in 34 rose door, um, so rose gold, and I'm using a kabuki brush, a mini kabuki brush from Bare Essentials, um, or Bare Minerals, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, and I'm just going to do that on the plums of my cheeks, or apples of my cheeks, whatever they're called, um, and blend out across the top of the contour line on my cheekbone. Then I like to go back to the big blending brush and just blend it out a bit, add a bit of a, a bit of a less um, sharper line to my skin. Um, and then moving on, I go to my highlighter, which is a sleek palette, um, and I use my Real Essentials. A highlighter brush um, and I'm using the shade I think it's Equinox um, again my brother's fiance suggested that it's £9.99 from Boots um, and just look at that shine it's so good um, you only need the tiniest bit and I just put it on the top of my cheek where I want to draw the attention of the light and down the side of my eye sometimes I will add it to underneath my eyebrows um, to the tip of my nose, um, really shiny, <laughs> um, to the cupid's bow, um, to my nose and line up to my forehead um, and on my chin. Um, so it's all the sort of the T area um, that I do it. Um, on a day to day basis I normally wear 
um, my Nivea Hydrocare SPF 15 lip balm. I don't tend to wear lipstick um, because it's you know a bit too flashy for the normal daytime. Um, so that's the finished look and I normally wear my glasses and that's what I look like in the daytime. Um, it's a very natural look, there's a very thin layer of makeup really in comparison to what it's normally like um, when I go out. Um, so it's very natural and it's easy to do and it's quick, it only takes about 20-25 minutes. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you soon, bye!